another toes of throw being readied into the area. Flicked on at the near post. And Tony Cliff just can't quite direct it. Goal bound. Beeston gets that one past Luke Young. And Butterfield can try and throw through Cameron Wilson. Out on that right hand side. And McIlinden misses his header. What a shot. Saved. And held on by Rob Layton. Not happy with Lee McIlinden there. Linden just missed the header, misjudged and then Elliot and a crucial tackle in the end by Ben Tozer. You can see he just misjudges it watching the ball. Doesn't see Wilson on the other side of him. And he strikes it well, but Lainton down to make a good save. And McLinden can clear. Palmer looking to get away from his man. And in the end, a mix-up. And it's fallen back into the path of Ollie Palmer. Can he get the shot away? And it's been deflected and out for a Wrexham corner. By the iron. Hosanna again. And so much space on this right hand side. Clueth looking for the overlap. Hosanna uses him. And he gets into the penalty area well. Clueth puts it back for Hosanna and blocked. Chance is still alive. Young can cross well into the area. Palmer just gets over him. Great ball in by Luke Young. That's good luck. In space down the right hand side with Wilson again. McLinden does well that time. And goes long. Palmer looking to chase him down. And Young can foster off his line. Young can shoot from distance. And hits the ball. Audacious from Luke Young. Sent Wrexham into the lead in fantastic style. And there'll be an inquest in how Scunthorpe got themselves in that position. Foster's clearance, and he goes as far as Luke Young. And what a strike that is. Rattles the crossbar from the halfway line of Foster's goal. Boyce, you can see there, looking for the goalkeeper to clear it to safety. In the end, it was anything but that. And he got away with that one just about. Palmer with some brilliant press in there. And Toza can chest that one down. For the visitors, Wilson's there as well. Looks to go back around the outside. And gives it back to the striker Elliot. Nice one two between the pair of them again. And Elliot can shoot from distance. And it's gone for a corner. And not a good sign for Wrexham. It's Bryce Hosanna just goes down. And that is going to be a change for Wrexham. Bryce Hosanna's evening is done. Bryce and after what was a positive start by the right wing back is over and he will be replaced by number 19 Jacob Mendy but they have to here with Regan Ogle just getting ready to send this one into the area it's a flat one into the path of Bunker. Just got caught under his feet. I don't think he was expecting that one. And Layton goes long, looking for Mullin. Lee heads it down into Mullin. Lee McClendon switching on to the right hand side. Has space to drive into. Gets the crossway, looking for Mullin. Gets it touch. And a penalty to Wrexham. A great first touch by Mullin. And it was enough to draw the foul. And an opportunity for Wrexham to go ahead from the spot. 
and Richard Everton immediately protests his innocence. Gonna, doesn't quite look as clear as the other one did. But Mullin to put Wrexham ahead from the spot. And he does. Slots it into the bottom corner. And that's number 25 in the National League for him. Paul as you like from the spot, Paul Mullin. And he puts Wrexham into the lead. Sends Foster the wrong way, but even if he gets right, there's no way he'd have got a hand on that one. Out to Ogle, but it's again down the right. A good spell for the iron. Can they make anything from it? Butterfield can strike, parried by Lainton, but Clueth plays it to McLinden. Just about deals with that, I should say. Nearly a curse of the commentator there, but Rex under pressure. But the scoreline is all that counts at the break. The referee just sets his watch and the half starts toes along the diagonal ball to Palmer, wins the header, no one there to meet it and Young floats that one in to the back post to Mullin well I've never seen him strike a ball quite like that as that one comes away McLinden Young with another chance to cross and does so beats the palm with the near post that's a Tozer just around the near post Palmer's there with the back and Young second ball Toza more than a header on goal. Threatens the pass the beast in. He's got options there. Pew just behind him lines up the shot and strikes the post. Pew nearly found the level. It looked like it was going further away. But just sets himself an excellent strike. Had Lainton beat him. It just struck the post. It's been quite deep. And all of them so far. Can he find a Wrexham shirt with this one? Flicks over by Mullin. Nice improvisation. Brings the ball forward. Good flick on by Palmer to Jacob Mendy. Can he get the shots away? And just wide. Much better by Rex from the first chance than Jacob Mendy's really had. To drive down the left hand side. Great way with Ollie Palmer. He got past Boyce. And he came so close to find in the bottom corner. Palmer, great touch, gets the shot away, saved by Foster. McLinden with the rebound and wide. And that came from nothing. A golden chance, two chances. To make it two. Great turn. Slightly scuffs the finish underneath him. And Macklin just drags him wide. You just see bubbles up from underneath him. Ollie Palmer. Battle hard again. Has he quite fallen for him? But Sam Dolby. 
the substitute had such a big impact in his last couple of games. Got a goal coming off, off the bench against Wheelston. And how about that header on Saturday? Scunthorpe keep bringing the ball forward. Bunker switches the play. Ogles there, lofts across into the area, finds the back post, Lainton with a brilliant save. It was Beeston coming in on the left. And Rob Lainton was needed there. And here comes the change. Jordan Davis. Coming on for Liam McAlinden. His first appearance since November after getting stretched off in that game against Farnborough in the FA Cup. A real hero in these parts from ending up all square as that throw goes into the box. Driven back into the area. And Lee comes away with the ball. Finds Mullen. Mullen holds the ball up well. He's got Dolby with him. Look on the left hand side. Just runs away from him. That was excellent by Wrexham. Young to Davis. Davis lines one up. Spilt by Foster. And that's a Foster spilt it, didn't really need to in the end. And Paul Mullin following the ball in, spilled it first time. There can be no doubt about that one. Can he make it 2-0 to Wrexham? Mullin strikes it. spot for Paul Mullen this evening and that one should hopefully see the game out for Exxon an extra goal cushion that they were looking for he went the same side as he did for this one as he did against Sheffield United in his second penalty but this time there was no mistake to toes and Mendy gets the cross into the box cleared away by Boyce Luke Young sets up the shot oh, just wide and he's come close twice and this came Luke Young from distance but far more comfortable now for Wrexham and he just dipped wide really wasn't that far away for Luke Young. And a straight pass into Sam Dolby. Who can intercept. And a cross from Jones. Blocked in the corner given. That's a free kick to Wrexham. James Jones adamant he was inside the area. It was for a handball. James Jones adamant he was inside the area. Came from nothing really. Jones in space. Gets the crossing. And James Jones is right, that's in the area. As Jordan Davis stands over the free kick. Plays it back to Elliot Lee. Lee can strike. Don't quite have. The Venomore direction he'd have liked. But the six minutes are up at the race course. And that is full time. A valiant performance from the Iron. But two penalties from Paul Mullin separate the two teams.